This, as you likely already know, is the United Kingdom House of Commons. This is the place where the UK's elected representatives debate and discuss policy. 650 members of Parliament have access to this chamber, so you'd be forgiven for expecting the seat capacity to accommodate 650 people. But you'd be wrong. Only 437 people can be sat down in the chamber at once. And that's important, because if you're not seated, you can't speak in the chamber. To be allowed to talk, you must be called to speak by the Speaker of the House, and they will only select people who are sat at one of the benches. The Speaker is one of the few people guaranteed a seat. In front of him is the table. On the table are the dispatch boxes. This is where the Prime Minister and the leader of the biggest opposition party will speak from, most famously during Prime Minister's question time. They are also used by ministers and shadow ministers who sit on the front benches. Before we get to the benches, on the table is a holder for the mace. The mace is a silver ornamental club which comes from the reign of King Charles II. It must be in place on the table for debates to be valid. If it isn't there, then any debates which are held are illegal. In fact, to try and stop a debate in 2009, John Macdonald picked up the mace and took it back to his seat. This was a move that didn't end up paying off as Macdonald got suspended from the house. When you look up from the table, you can see the press gallery above. This is where journalists who are accredited by the sergeant at arms are allowed to sit. Okay, so back to the floor. Let's discuss who sits where. The left hand side of the chamber is the government side and therefore is where members of the governing party sit. The front bench is filled by government ministers, also known as front benches, because the government comes up with only the most creative nicknames. These are the most important people in the government and amongst them, in front of the dispatch box, is where the prime minister sits. Obviously, the prime minister isn't in the chamber at all times, but if they're present, they'll sit in front of the dispatch box. Behind the ministers are parliamentary private secretaries. This is an unpaid role, but they help ministers gauge the feelings of backbenchers. The backbenchers, as I'm sure you've already guessed, sit here, in the back. This is where the rest of the government's MPs sit. The other side of the room is relatively similar with some key differences. There is again a front bench where shadow ministers from the opposition party sit. There are a number of opposition parties, but the opposition, capital T, are the largest opposing party. In our current system, this is essentially always either the Labour Party or the Conservative Party, whichever isn't in government at the time. Opposite the Prime Minister sits the Leader of the Opposition. Behind that are the Members of Parliament for the Opposition. The amount of benches they take up depends on how big the Opposition Party is. They share the space on this side of the chamber with the smaller Opposition Parties, who tend to group together by party allegiance. Talking about the size of the chamber, there are very clear division lines throughout the room. The chamber is divided by these two parallel red lines. As we said earlier, you have to have a seat to be able to talk in the House. Therefore, during a debate, members of Parliament are not allowed to speak when they're between these two red lines. The red lines mark sort of a no man's land between the two sides. It's said that these lines are two swords length apart in an attempt to prevent sword fighting. At the bottom of this red line is a white line known as the bar of the house. Like the red lines, it represents where people are and aren't allowed to be. Guests and visitors may not pass this line when the house is at work. Want to know more about the MPs robbing statues or swords in Parliament? We have a whole video which covers the weirder side of Parliament. Check that out by clicking the link on the screen now.